There you go. Yes, as you can hear in the background, AFTV doing their thing. Chelsea get battered everywhere they go. I've got Curtis just to rub it in the Chelsea wounds. It's about time we slap them up, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Honestly. Like that. 5 0, clean sheet. David Ray again. Gosh, how many clean sheets is that now, mate? I wish I had a water bottle for Chelsea's tears. <laughs> I remember coming here a few seasons ago. Was it the 21 22 season? First three games, first three games that we lost. And I think Chelsea might have been the second game. Mm. And we just got absolute bad at home. But anyway, what a professional performance by the boys today, right? Our forwards, yeah? Our forwards were at it today. You know, to be fair, Saka uh, was unlucky to not score today. Uh, Havertz, when we're getting on to Havertz, oh, he's not good enough, oh, he's not a centre forward, oh, he's not a number nine. My guy turned up with a brace. Oh, he doesn't turn up in, in big games. Well, he turned up today in a big game, right? Two goals, yeah? Trossard, he opened it up again, just like, you know, as he's been doing recently, scoring, scoring goals for fun, yeah? So, what, one goal Trossard, two goals Havertz, and Benjamin White. This guy's meant to be a right back. Remember, a certain man was saying, oh, Trent, Trent, Trent Alexander Arnold, best right back in the world, best right back in the Premier League. I'm sorry, it's Benjamin White. And if you get Benjamin White, can also play centre back if, you need, if need be. Gabriel Saliba, solid performance. I've been also crying out for time, yeah, for Tommy Asu to start. Honestly, he had that he had that left back position on lock, but the midfield we looked silky. I was calling out. I was calling out. <laughs> come, come, come over here, man. You're giving him funny looks. Come, come, come on, come on. Come no, on. no, but come on, what, what? dude? How many Champions Leagues you won? How many leagues oh, you won? It's a Chelsea fan. Oh, Chelsea no, no, but, but I said, don't have sat on the board or not. You played well, but you, who have you yeah. beat? You beat a very poor team. You're going to go against the big boys. You're going to get hammered. You're not going to win the Premier League. You're not going to win nothing this year. So, you know, let's just be realistic about what this team's achieving. They're not achieving anything. They're, they're a bang average team in regards to the top four. Their results against the top four are shit. They beat us tonight, which in fairness, we were awful tonight. Cole Palmer and his not their team is awful. Arsenal played very, very good football. I give them that very quickly. Against Villa, do you think Chelsea against Super High Press. No, they had a couple of chances in the first half. No, no, we're, 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 we're awful. No, 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 we're awful. But the point is, what annoys me is these Arsenal fans are bigging up and whatever. Dude, they're an average team. Aston Villa pressured them, played a high press, and they beat them. Yeah, United, Man United, are going to do it. And that's the end of their season. And that's it done. So let's just, let's, let's just get straight. No, I haven't, bro. I've been in the boardroom all night with your lovely directors that hosted us really well. I'm from Charles, and my dad's the CEO. We've been here. You've been really nice hospitality-wise. It's been a fantastic night, yeah? But the point of the matter is, you're not going to win the league. You know, you've not won a Champions League. You've not won anything. There's a ticket to prove we're in the boardroom. And, and, and that's it. Complimentary, boardroom, done. We're, we're not we're not like, you know, it, 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 it's that. He's entitled to his opinion, isn't he? Yeah. We, we all support a football club. You know, with Chelsea, their fans are very feel very privileged. You know what I mean? So he's entitled to his opinion. So if he feels we're a bang average team, that's fine. We're not, we're not privileged. What makes you say that we're a bang average team? You know, Even though we've been competing last no, there, there were nothing. The point know. is... The, the Can point we go back to Abramovich? But, 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 no, no, you know, what, what, where you were... We brought the league. Let's right. be honest, we brought okay. the league. We brought the league. Let's be honest, we brought the league. We brought the league. Let's be honest, we brought the league. Okay, there you go. I have to respect the man. My man actually, he's honest. Arsenal Chelsea United. United. We brought the league. We brought the league and Arsenal aren't behind the league. But the point of it is, they're never going to be able to catch the cities because City are behind the league. That's the point. And the reason the league is so close this year is because City have struggled. That's the fact. City have struggled this year. Can you explain... Go into more detail with that. How, well, City, how City, have, well, City had a real bad start to the season, didn't they? You know, they, they, they dropped points where they should. You can't see City slipping off against no. any of the teams. No, not all they've got left. And Arsenal, let's be honest, have a real difficult game against United in the aspect of United will turn up for that game. And probably it'll be a And the fact that they haven't beaten them for like eight, nine years at Old Trafford uh, yeah, in the Premier League. I think League. it'll be a draw. I think it'll be, it'll be a boring nil-nil draw or one-one draw. You're not going to hit early and then Arsenal dominate the game and they just won't be able to finish it. You know, but the point is, from my view, my, my, my view is just purely that, you know, Arsenal, you high-press them. Same as Liverpool. You high-press them and they make mistakes. Yeah. And, and, and that's 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 and, and that is it. That is it. What's your name? What's your name? Christian. Man? Christian. Nice Love to see you, here. Christian. You're Chelsea fan. Honestly, I, I wish you the best. I, I wish you the best the rest of the season. Christian, how long have you been a Chelsea fan? Christian. Uh, I, since my dad got involved. Six, six years. Six years. <laughs> no, no, no. All my life. But listen, last, life. last six years, a lot. Will a lot we see here. you again back here at the Emirates? Do you every come time in? we come. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. time we play you guys. Yeah, you want to meet us back here by the Tony Adams? Well, you come to Chelsea, yeah? 
You come, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come to Chelsea. Yeah, all right, then I'll look out for you, Christian. Come, come to Chelsea. Again. Sweet. Lovely. Nice one. Mate, Christian, take care. There, the the there, there, there you go. That was an interesting, interesting interview by Christian, Chelsea fan. But he did admit. You heard it here on the three point. Is it, they bought the league. At least he admitted they bought yeah, the league and they, they bought, bought the success. The league, like yeah. I think after the Newcastle game, after the Newcastle game, I went on to it saying that Chelsea and Manchester City did buy their success. But man, like, honestly, that midfield, I've been calling out for Partey Rice Odegaard, man, for several games, and honestly, he looked like a midfield maestro <laughs> combination. Yeah, Partey sitting, give Rice the opportunity, yeah. the freedom to roam. Odegaard, silky, you know, great creativity. But man, like honestly, like we had like, you know, Benjamin White and Tommy Asu getting so high up the pitch, man. And you got to think they're quick. The recovery on them is quick. They're defensively, they're quick. Offensively, they're quick. Saka, unfortunate not to score. Havertz, brilliant, got a brace. Benjamin White, brilliant, got a brace. Leander Trossard scored. What else? Could we, or what more? Even when Jesus, Jesus, come on, right? Jesus could give him all sorts of problems when he came on. I think who else? Georgina come on, made a cameo. He performance. Fabio Vieira. Honestly, we've not seen this guy for ages. And he looks silky in that right wing. Because you've got to think Fabio Vieira can play a couple of positions. Right wing, Cam. The last couple of times I've seen him out, he's not looked brilliant. I saw a cameo of him on the right wing before he didn't look brilliant. But the couple of moments I have seen from Fabio Vieira when he scored that outrageous cop Brentwood, there's definitely a player there. So onwards and upwards. We'll see. We move again. We've got Sunday. We've got Tottenham Hotspurs away. We're going to be at the Tollington. Make sure you check us out. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, Three Pointers TV, Shout Tees, Dubs and Mighty. Let's go. Yeah, I'm big up the tings and all. <laughs>